Ladies and gentlemen, these bouts are under the supervision and control of the Missouri Office of Athletics, Tim Lukanoff, Executive Director. These bouts are promoted by Shamrock FC. The matchmaker tonight, Rob Doniker. The judges working tonight's bouts are Robin Beal, Travis Busking, and Rob Francis. The referees tonight are Mike England and Mark Wassum. The timekeeper is Steve Holly, and the physician sitting ringside, the Honorable Dr. Dom Richards. Let's bring out our next bout of the evening, Jake Zog. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for our main card of the evening. Jake Zog comes to us by way of Clinton, Illinois, and fights for Clinton MMA. Jake Zog is, just, again, one of those kind of guys. He stepped up on just 24 hours notice for that fight. I find this very, very interesting that he felt he could get in on just 24 hours notice with someone like Lee Burns. Yeah, these are both big, strong, athletic heavyweights. You know, there's going to be a lot of rumbling in this cage. You now, take a fight on short notice like that, it screams big cojones. Now, Zog told me in our interview beforehand that, you know, I may not have the best record as a pro, but I always step up and I always put on a great show. I am here for the fans. I am here to make sure that they have a great time tonight. It's all about the fans, man. That is what makes mixed martial arts action some of the best sport in the world as Zog makes it into the cage. We get ready for our other, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out his opponent tonight, Lee Burns. Lee Burns makes his way to the cage this evening. I find this very interesting. In his entire professional and amateur career, he has spent a grand total of one minute and 20 seconds in the cage. Yeah. That's through everything. Lee Burns puts his opponents away. Love him or hate him, every, you're gonna come watch him fight. He's gonna put on an exciting show. Lee Burns is one of those kind of guys, he literally has, like I said, spent less than one minute and 30 seconds as we go to our tail of the tape. Jake Zog, 23 years old, six foot two, 275 pounds, out of Clinton, Illinois. Lee Burns, 31 years old, six foot four, 261 pounds, out of St. Louis, Missouri. The interesting thing that I find about Lee Burns is that he told me, I put in a full camp. I'm in an actual gym. In his last two fights, he wasn't even training in a real gym. Yeah, that, that's that, that's crazy. I mean, he's been training at the uh, All-in-One Fitness, Fitness in the Bay, and he looks impressive down there. He is now training along the tough sides of UFC vets, Adam Sella, my partner tonight, Luigi Fioravante, so let's kick it off. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands six feet, two inches tall, he weighs in at 275 pounds, fighting out of Clinton, Illinois, Jake Zog. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage, out of the red corner this evening. He stands six feet, four inches tall. He weighs in at 261.3 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Lee Burns. Referee Mike England has the call for this fight. Lee Burns looks in amazing okay, shape fellas, from questions. his last you fight. He told me in his pre-fight interview that he did not have to cut weight for this fight. Generally, he has to cut to make 265 pounds. He said, I had no issues this time. Training at uh, Finney's MMA, you know, he's really been putting in the time, putting in the work. Nice leg kick there from- Oh, Lee. big shots already from Burns. Oh, he sure those leg kicks right are away. damaging. Oh, nice knees for him as well. Oh, nice shot big coming shot. from Zog. It's a big shot from Jake Zog right there. Zog took this fight on short notice. He's Lee a dangerous fighter. You don't know what's going to come from him. He has actually now taken Lee Burns longer than anyone else has in a fight. Oh, oh that a, no. That was a 12-6 elbow to the back of the head. That's an illegal blow right there. Jake Zog is down. He looks hurt. Oh man, that was uh that was that was brutal. That was rough. Now, 
Luigi, talk about the 12 to 6 elbow. Explain that. Well, in MMA, there's a mohawk. The mohawk rule is that there's that strip from the front to the middle of your head to the back of your head. You cannot touch that part with any blows. But a 12 to 6 elbow coming down is even worse because there's no 12 to 6 elbows allowed in MMA. And the judges, I'm sorry, the referee Mike England has taken away one point for that illegal elbow. That makes for a very interesting first round here. As Jake, again, Jake Zog has taken him longer than anyone else has. Jake Zog seems to be, he's, he's recovered pretty well. He's bouncing on his feet. I think he's gonna try to get a little bit of payback for that. Lee needs to keep his hands up. Again, nice shot jab coming from Zog. Zog looking for the takedown as he runs Burns into the cage. Zog backs away from the knee. Burns moving forward. Big, oh, big, big kick. Shots. Oh, Lee Burns drops Zog. Zog covers up. He's got to watch out for those shots in the back of the head. Uh, it's over. Referee saves Jake, Jake Zog. But very interesting. Jake Zog is the first person to ever take Lee Burns longer than one minute in the cage. You got to show him respect for that. You gotta show anybody respect that steps in that cage, no matter what. Again, Lee Burns, we at least see now that he does have some cardio. He can go more than a minute. So, should be very interesting to see where he comes as we see Jake Zog still on the canvas. Doctor, check him out. As we go to the instant replay, big uppercut sets up the hands, puts Zog on the ground. Next thing you know, Lee Burns is absolutely on top of him. Just swarming. Referee Mike England has no choice but to stop the fight. Yeah, Lee throws some big, hard shots. When that comes from a guy that's 260, 6'4", you're going to be putting out, put somebody out for good. That was a heavy, heavy-handed battle. But we also saw a little bit of, Jay, of Lee Burns getting tested in this fight, something we have not seen out of any opponent just yet. Jake Zog did not back down. He threw some big shots, that landed, and he also went for takedowns, but he, was there, he wasn't able to use any of that against Lee Burns. So let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended one minute and 10 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO from strikes out of the red corner, Lee Burns. Lee Burns moves to a perfect 2-0 record here in the world of mixed martial arts. Now, again, very interesting. First time he's ever had a point taken away from him and first time he's ever made it longer than a minute. We have more action to come here at Shamrock Fighting Championships Mayhem, as up next we'll have Jason Christensen taking on Clay Mitchell.